persons who don't have a lease agreement, adjustment of status. You know, a lease agreement is not the end of the world. This is the United States where persons have a roommate. Persons rent one house and 10 different people live in there. Some of them are related, some of them are extended family, and that's okay. USCIS never tell you if you go outside and rent a whole apartment and take on rent that you can't afford just to say you have a lease agreement. No, you can sublease a private room from somebody who owns a house. You can live with your parents, you can live with your in law, you can live with your sister. They don't give you a lease, they just tell you if you catch in them room or them basement, you are your man or you are your woman. And that's not the end of the world. This is what you're going to do if you cannot get your name on the lease agreement. Or no, 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 no lease. We can live at somebody's yard. Or maybe the one I, the, the partner, your partner, owns the house. So your name can go upon the deed or the title. As much as we don't want you to put it on it. So you can write a letter of affidavit. Affidavit of support and letter of affidavit are two different. So come on, man. You have to write one letter. Addressing USCIS address to them you just have to tell them say listen my partner and i do not have an official lease agreement in a my term fix it all you want i do offer um the service to write this letter for you and it's tailored to you and your partner and who you live with right so you basically tell them hey my partner and i don't have a lease agreement however we live at this address and we have attached some of our bills or we have attached our light bill or the internet or life insurance, my husband, bank or something showing this address. And we have our driver's license or our state ID showing this address to prove that this is indeed our place of residence. To kick it up a notch, you can have a notary notarize this letter. You sign off, your husband sign off. You live with your mother-in-law. Now your partner live there, Grisha, and my partner live at our in-laws, or my partner, mom, we have attached letters that's been mailed to this address to show that this is our place of residence. You can have the in-laws sign it, you sign it, Hosey sign it, and put it in your package in replacement of the lease agreement. So stop go there, get apartment, get private place, you live where you live. And nobody is judging you. Are you a judge on yourself or because you're a low person to tell you, oh, no, you need a lease. Oh, no, you need this. No, you don't. Speaking from experience for all the customers that I've filed for. So start what they spend no you have. If you need help for me to tailor this letter to you and your partner, I do offer that service. You can call the office now. If you need to talk to me directly in regards to anything you need help with, I do offer a consultation for $50. The link in my bio. Is either click on if you can't find the link, call the office so we can send you the link. So you can pull up my calendar and select a date and a time that works best for you and me.